Hello everybody and welcome to one more video on big units uh, of World War II, rapid fire, 20 mm size, and this is the last part of the four part series of the Germans at the Mortan Offensive. So today we'll see the last two divisions that are still missing, which is the Panzerlehr here and the 17th uh, Panzer uh, uh, SS, a Grandier Division. Okay, the gods von Berlichingen, and also some relatively well nourished um, support uh, units that can be uh, spread all over the, the several the several divisions to complement them. So uh, let's start with the Panzerlehr here. Panzerlehr is a very funny story. General Beierlein hide the results, the true results of the Cobra um, attack on the on the. Cobra offensive attack on the on the on the Panzerlehr. Um, he he sent the reports that division suffered many more casualties than in fact they had. Division was still in relatively good shape, as you can see here. I mean, I mean, uh, still some 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 thirty Panzers, um, uh, still relatively potent in infantry, more or less. Still some strong shoots. I mean, and but he he, he tell he told the story as if it was been annihilated, and like this he saved lots of lives and lots of lives, especially of his men, of course. Uh, so this division was placed in uh, in uh, reserve. So you can see here. Um, I mean, I placed here some some flamethrower from the company from the the, the engineers. Flamethrower two hundred fifty one. This is Britannia. There is an Altaya Famo with with Prizer um, technicians. There is a very funny characteristic of the Panthers of the of the Panzerlehr, which is this white uh, white uh, tips of the mudguards painted. Uh, mudguards painted in white. Sorry. Uh, there are also also large numbers on top of the uh, side protections, which were in fact track protections that Germans usually place on the turret. And this model, I think, is something like what a plastic model from what from Nito, maybe I don't know, or maybe uh, maybe a matchbox, yeah, maybe a matchbox with a few add-ons, yeah, uh, with uh, with a uh, uh, PSC commander, some extra also. Schurz and I mean I don't know I don't really remember which was the original brand of this it suffered so many transformations that I really don't know and now I can show you another one here that lost its mudguards unfortunately but it's a very beautiful model made by a friend of mine um, he built this matchbox with Zimmerit that he patiently uh, my friend George Faria made it and he patiently he placed a hot iron on top of the of the steel plate in this case plastic plate of course and made the zimmerit covered panther it is a, a work of art i think and then i just i just repainted it because in, i had uh, i mean I, I needed to place it according to my colors that i generally use this one was was painted in different shades so i mean i just and i also placed of course the panzer um panzer layer symbols and numbers uh there is a another one here, which is also, I think, matchbox. There are some some Panzer fours also still in the division. Airfix, airfix conversions. Uh, Frontline. There are some uh, Altaya uh, thirty eight Ts anti aircraft guns. There are still some some uh, reconnaissance, and they had uh, the, the Panzerlehr still had a few. I think at the beginning it had some twenty five Puma, so I, I placed here three representing more or less fifteen. I'm not sure exactly of the number of Puma on this on this um, on this date beginning of August, but not something like this, probably. Uh, uh, Britannia with, with SHQ figures, uh, Airfix, um, Eschi, uh, Britannia again, the, the artillery with Vespa for Matchbox and the 2053s from um, S models, still some anti-aircraft guns by Azegawa, as you can see, the, the, the flak violing, uh, Four two twenty 20 millimeter gun and the 37 millimeter anti aircraft gun also and the strongly shoots of the of the the division here with the Altaya and here with the uh, airfix uh, now for the panzer grenadiers some 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 um, some britannia um, spgs with 150 millimeter gun uh, these ones were the grill, as they were called, um, and you can see here plenty of Simon soldiers through, uh, through Panzerlehr 
uh, figures, as you can see with the short jacket used by the SPG crews. The infantry, the Panzer Grenadiers of the Panzerlei were equipped with this, and you can see the lovely uh, seven soldiers figures a little bit everywhere in these two battalions. Okay, one of them still with 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 Opel Blitz and and Britannia Pass Airfix Opel Blitz, and then the usual uh, Matchbox uh, Altaya. Um, Eshi, I think, uh, Matchbox and uh, Frontline, uh, 2051s of different, of different um, models. So here the, the 17th uh, SS Panzer Grenade Division, Gottsman Berlichingen, is a little bit exaggerated because in fact there were only these, these guys here left for the offensive. Also the division was quite beaten instead of all this. So I have here a group of seven um, uh, uh, Stu 4. In fact, there should only be two, because the, the 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 battalion has been, I mean, heavily reduced. But you can see here the the the, the nice uh, a little bit incomplete. So we need to add a few things on uh, on on top of this uh, this revel um, Sturmgeschütz four. And there is also somewhere in the middle. I can only notice by the weight because I think it's this one. Yeah, this is the the Altaya. Uh, yeah, I think so. It is this one. Um, now, for the anti-tank, uh, for the anti-tank capabilities of the division, uh, I mean, I read Marder 1, I read Marder 3, I'm not sure of which of them to use here, frankly, so I placed both. Uh, these ones are Skytrax, and these guys over there are Altaya. Some reconnaissance here with, with some Skytrax 8 wheel vehicles, Britannia 250. There are still a few things, but not that much. For instance, you can see here, can see here for instance uh, still in this division a platoon at least of uh, 75 millimeter uh, infantry guns uh, also some some zig 150 zig 33 150 pulled by some some um, 3d print resin models with, with again with some soldiers figures inside um, some anti-aircraft mm. means over there also with with these uh, these uh, late uh, Anomags with uh, both flat wheeling, 20 millimeter, four tube gun, and 37 millimeter. The artillery of the Gottsman Verlichigen was made of partly of, of Russian uh, Russian guns. You can see here the 132 millimeter uh, guns by by uh, irregular miniatures, pulled by some French trucks. I mean, I don't know if they were uh, French Hawk trucks. Sorry. The MCG five. I'm not sure if, if 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 they were really here, but it it was the ones that I left that, that I had left. Sorry, uh, some also some pioneers with some uh, trucks by trucks. I think it's extinct. It, 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 trucks doesn't no longer exist. I think and these were some some French uh, trucks um, by trucks, as I told you. Uh, that um, could have been. I'm not sure in this uh, in this division, but I use them also a little bit because I mean. I was a little bit short of, of this kind of stuff. Also some uh, Naval Version 41s and Naval Version 42s for the Naval Version unit of the Godson Berlichingen. And the Godson Berlichingen only had this. And you can see probably, uh, I mean, something like this didn't exist and something like this didn't exist. So the division was quite, quite depleted. So I placed here some battalions of Fallschirmjäger because the division was also under the command of a Fallschirmjäger Corps. So you can see here, uh, Eschi figures a little bit everywhere. Also some some conversions with like this guy for instance holding the Panzer Shrek. And there are a few Revel in the command, but most of the and in in some support weapons, but mostly it is the a little bit idle um, Revel. Uh, no, sorry, Eschi figures. Or the or the Falschirmier. They are very well made, but they are a little bit. I mean, they, it looks like they are in 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 in. Uh, I mean, just standing and looking at each other, I mean, not in a very active positions. I mean, it's an option, of course, a modeling option, of course. So it's almost at an end, and you can see here a group of, let's focus like this. Yeah, more or less like this. This is, I mean, models that you can spread throughout the six divisions, for instance. There's a, a relatively large group of nine, um, nine uh, pack 75mm uh, guns. Uh, 
uh, that can be distributed along the anti-tank battalions together with the Sturmgeschütz 3s and and uh, and uh, Jagdpanzer 4s of the several divisions. There's also a heavy 88 millimeter group here um, with the Skytrex um, Bac 43s pulled by Airfix Anomax. There is a, a big, big revel. Uh, very beautiful. Ooh, let's try to focus this thing. Uh, 170 millimeter Morser pulled by an Anomag also. Also a, a, um, a group of, uh, uh, of uh, towed artillery by this uh, 3D prints by Mario Laranja and these are Revel guns, 105 millimeter guns and they can be also spread out close to the to the Vespa and the Hummels of this division and other divisions that are nearby. Um, and I think I've showed you everything. So the idea of this thing is not only to make, I mean, this is not for, properly for a war game on top of this table, as you can imagine, otherwise the, the opponent can't enter. But the idea is to have enough units to portray whatever you need in, in the Mortan campaign. Also uh, do whatever you need almost in, I mean, to a good extent on the, on the, on the, um, uh, market garden operation. I have also some specific uh, items for market garden. Also, you can do a good part of the of the Bagration operation, uh, Eastern Front uh, against late Russians. Also with this, you can do a good part of the of the Wacht am Rhein, the the, the Bulge, the Arden campaign. Also from this thing here, from this all these models. And these are in fact, I mean, some of the most uh, some of the most necessary models for. For World War II, because we we always have the tendency to 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 play the big battles of late of late uh, war, uh, which are generally traditional in terms of war gaming and also of reading or investigation, because it's a very a very interesting um, period with with these lovely machines like the, like the Panthers and things like that. So everybody likes likes this period of of the of the of the war in terms of studies, of course. So uh, I hope one day that uh, our masters. Um, uh, Richard and Colin uh, do something about about more time campaign. It would be very nice. Um, it's not. I mean, it has been recently um, has been recently investigated more thoroughly, and there are some nice results, like the books I've showed you on the first uh, part of this series. Well, let's see if something comes out. I also would like. I mean, I don't have that capability to to, to make scenarios. I, I I like to model and to and to read a little bit and to paint this kind of stuff and to to make modeling. But I mean. Uh, it's a little bit behind my capabilities of making uh, scenarios, uh, at least the ones that are uh, that are um, uh, that are uh, that can be wargamed. Because in fact, I have very little wargaming experience because I, I do lots of modeling for wargaming, but in fact, I, I wargame very little. So, so it's for me it's a little bit difficult. So I hope someone can do it, and one day I can I can I can uh, and I can uh, uh, wargame with these guys here. And of course, you are all invited to come here and to and to um, one at a time or less or two at a time. Uh, don't exaggerate, okay? Uh, and come and, and, and wargame these things with me, okay? It will be a pleasure. Bye-bye. See you next.